good. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we've been getting a lot of requests to swing the Bombat End Load. That's right, they made a specific version of the Bombat. We have the gold maple here that just has a little more butt in the barrel here. Let's try it out. All right, folks, so here we have the regular Bombat. For the sake of today's video, I'm gonna call this the Bombat Balanced. Uh, this is the Bombat End Load. The barrel profile and everything looks the exact same. You're just gonna have a bit denser wood out here, just a bit more weight towards the end, ideally making it a bit more of a power hitter's bat. A lot of people complain that the Balanced Bombat is like really, really light swinging and a lot lighter swinging than like a realistic wood bat would honestly usually be. And because of that, the barrel's really tight, really unforgiving, small, sweet spot. So today we Want to try this out we'll also get some exit velos at the end to see if it changes at all but i mean they look the exact same they're made of the exact same material they somehow just made some more end load on this guy we're going to tell you if we feel any difference at all and if it's a better bat so let's check it out all right folks we are out here at juan diego catholic high school down here in utah we'll start out with the regular bomb bat or we'll call it the bomb balance today little rundown of what the bomb bat is if you guys are new to this we've done a few videos on these this is like a very very durable wood bat I'm not gonna say they never break because we've had one break before, but they're gonna last a lot longer than like most ash maple birch pure wood bats. And it's actually like mostly like this foam hard composite material on the inside. And then it's surrounded by like a really thin like one eighth inch piece of wood. So it's like mostly not wood really, but the exterior is wood, perfect game, all that high school summer ball, even like Juco. This is technically a wood bat. So we're gonna start with this guy. We'll move on to the end load. Let's get it. All right, good start. Come on, ball. All right, not bad. What up, what up? <laughs> well, here. Bad boy. Wow, hammered, bro. Such a good, crisp sound. Oh, so. you're going to lose so many baseballs. <laughs> Nice. Finding pretty good barrel so far. See ya. Oh, wow. Oh my God. That one's so far out. Very balanced, bro. It would be light amongst like metal BB core bats, honestly. Weight's clear down here. Oh, that come might. on, ball. Aw. Uh. One hop. End of the bat, kind of there. Come on, ball. Ooh, top of the wall. Good. Good lord. Ooh, that's gone. Come on. Oh, dang it, dude. That, I got that a little bit towards the hands and it just rung me up a tiny bit. I mean, we have pretty tough wind, but I've always got to go. Come on. The sweet spot is small. Tiny. I'm just that good that I can hit right <laughs> I'm kidding. But the sweet spot is very small. And when you miss the sweet spot, it hurts very bad. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Right through the wind. Oh, no. Freaking balanced bats. Come on. All right, we'll try the end load now. We got the Seattle Seahawks design, I guess. Woo, still loud, bro. What? Well, you actually, you actually can tell, yeah. This feels just more like a regular end loaded BB core, whereas that feels more like kind of on the balance side, more like a solo or something like that, honestly. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> Over everything. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, damn. <laughs> That's way gone. Wow. I like this. So this feels a lot more like actual wood bat. Like, you know, kind of a power hitters like S318, I13, even like the TS28 Batsmith bat. This feels a lot like that. Whereas that feels more like a 110 or a 271. I'm digging this so far. Woo! See ya! That's a other. That felt good. Oof! 
Dude, this thing's hot. Is that going? Oh, buddy. I think it's hotter. Yeah, yeah excited to velo test these. I would assume this is going to win. Oh, yeah. Go ball. Jammed a little bit. Short hop. Oof. A little more swing, mate. Oh, yeah. That's on the hands a little bit, too. Oh yeah. The barrel is just a little more forgiving too. It doesn't hurt my hands as much. I can get I can get it towards the end a little bit and not be like scared to death. It's honestly like helpful guys. Again, I know I have to tell you guys this all the time. We are not sponsored. Bombat is not paying us to make this video. Uh, just telling, telling you what we honestly think. The Bombat had some flaws. It's like overly balanced in a really small sweet spot. This helps out a little bit. You're gonna sacrifice some swing weight, but that's how bat performance goes. Heavier bats usually hit the ball a little bit further. Uh, just popped it up too. Yeah, off the end. <laughs> Way up. <laughs> Must be nice, John. Oh, that's hot, bro. Get going. Wow. That's hammer, dude. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> that's. Dude. Into the back. Yeah. That's what I would choose. So with the regular bomb bat, I've said a lot, you gotta go up a half inch in order to make it like a viable wood bat in my opinion. Otherwise the sweet spot's just too small. This is a bat where I'd be comfortable swinging a 33. That's a pretty good bat. All right, so let's talk about these two bats. So first, the obvious one, just the swing weight. Mm -hmm. uh, at the very least, did you notice a difference? Was that more end loaded? Was it by a lot or what? All right, it was definitely more end loaded. It's uh -huh. not crazy. The only difference to the bat, they just put like a little more, it says poly end cap, so like polyurethane. They, yeah. put, they put a little more in the end cap. They just put more stuff in the yeah, end. Yeah, I'm guessing yeah. that's what it is. It would bump from like a six on the swing weight scale to like a four. It's noticeable, but not like a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, all right, next off, this is the one that I felt was like biggest. So sweet spot. Oh, Performance yeah. on miss hits, bro. Like forgiveness mm -hmm. of the barrel. What'd you think? So right here, you could probably put the handle. <laughs> that's right? a sweet spot. It's gas though. Like yeah. it's so hot. It's uh -huh. just a tight, tight, Hold like out. solo like, barrel. Right here, it'll go very far. Yeah. Right here. You'll, you'll get some doubles here. It's not getting out of the infield. It hurts. It hurts very bad. But yeah. With this puppy, damn, <laughs> you got like that much where it feels great. And yeah. here, it, it won't ring you up horribly. Yeah. And it, it, you, it still feels good. You can hit in the cold with it. With this, if you hit in the cold with it, you don't have any fingers out. <laughs> no, like honestly, you're not even kidding. Like it that hurts, hurts so bad, bad dude. Yeah. That solves like the ring the life out of you problem. If, like if, if you see us making a video, with the bomb bat regular in the winter <laughs> you, you know we got you so i mean that just swings a lot more like a regular again like s318 yeah. i13 wood bat or even sort of like a one piece alloy bb core and then lastly dude power do you feel like with that you were getting more juice off the barrel maybe a little bit but not, not a ton i mean it would like for sure it wasn't crazy though so that's only on sweet spot though yeah right here right here and right here um, it definitely travels a lot better. I assume the average the exit velo is going to be quite a bit better with yeah, that. I'd agree. Let's go freaking test them out, man. Let's go. <laughs> God, that hurts so bad. That's moving. 92.9. What's that? 96.9. 96.9. Wow. Oh, give me a hundred. Ninety-five point six. Eighty-five point three. That's as hard as I can do. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine? Oh, we're so close. Come on. Ninety-five point seven. Ah, oh, I can't do it. It's so much like more comfortable to swing. You actually have barrel to work with. Ninety-four point five. Ninety-one point six. I might win. Ninety-four point three. Ninety-four, almost. Let's go. One hundred point four. One hundred point four. Ninety-seven three. If I'm popping hundred miles an hour with the wood. 
That's damn impressive. Distance? 379. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say. All right, folks, a really positive review there, but it's a couple weeks later now, and gotta share uh, some stuff I'm experiencing with the new Maple Bombats here. First, I'll start with the positives. They actually do seem to be hotter. I'm doing a lot of exit velo testing, and I think the Maple Bombats uh, actually are hotter. I think they have more pop than the old ones, which is a really good thing. Then moving on to kind of the more negative things. So for one, they're a lot more expensive. I think the custom ones are three, over $350 now. The stock ones are like 280 or so. I'm pretty sure they used to be more like 200. And then lastly, I'm actually seeing Bombats breaking quite a bit. So a few of them I'm actually hearing are breaking at the handle, but seeing a lot of splintering barrels. This is just uh, an example of one. If you're a strong guy and you're using these a lot and you're really making hard contact with the ball you can probably expect that you might eventually use your one-year warranty with one of these this is just my experience and the experience of you know a bunch of JT's teammates and guys he's playing against we are running into some bombat durability issues for the first time here and guys last thing here the standard knob on these bomb bats I'm just not a fan bro get the flared knob the flared knob is much more comfortable 100% all right, guys, really appreciate you hanging out today. Fun, fun video to make. JT just hitting bombs out here. Again, a big thank you to Juan Diego High School. Look at that, boys. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to help support the Bat Bros as well, you can always check out our merch, like the shirts JT and I were wearing over at BaseballBatBros.com. Appreciate you guys hanging out today. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.